bagel and lox, you need a bagel, right? So we're, we're going the, the, the quick, easy route. We're not going to give you like a six-hour demo on bagels. Although it is cooked three times, right? You got to bake it, then boil it, then toast it. So bagel, we got our little sliced chips, a little bit of olive oil. And then instead of like just salt or pepper, what's fun is making your own everything spice blend. So like a little toasted sesame and poppy seed, little uh, dehydrated garlic, all that kind of stuff, right? Mix it, put it on top, it sticks to it. And of course, through the magic of food demos, we have some already prepared for you. <laughs> so we were talking earlier, right? We're gonna do ramps. Everyone knows what ramps are or no? It's like a mix between a garlic and an onion. They are kind of like wild leeks, but, but garlicky. And you can use the bulbs are really good for pickling, and then the tops for grilling, which we're going to do right here. All right, so we're just going to hit these a little bit of oil. All right, so we're just cooking here on the flame, right? Catching shit on fire like that leaf right there. That's cool. Gives it a nice different flavor. All right, so I'm just taking these ramps. I'm chopping them all up. So we got our, our bagel chips. We're making our uh, dill schmear right here, right, which is very simple. Dill, cream cheese, uh, buzzed up. All right, so we're taking our salmon. We're just making it pretty. He's going with the roll technique. That's always fun. So, so what I'm doing with the capers is I'm rinsing them off because it's got that, you know, vinegar, salt that you kind of want to get a little bit of out of it. So we're just... Yeah, they're super briny. So we all like capers, olives, anything like that. Rinse them off super, super well so that they taste like what they're supposed to taste like. All right, so you see what we got? Again, like our little walk in the woods and you kind of stumbled upon it. Our little ramps, almost like a little... A little olive oil with that, you got like a salsa verde, right? Kind of mixed up, nice and pretty. Anytime that you're frying something, when you take them out is when you want to season them right away because that's the only time that that salt will actually stick to them because the fat's still around it and that holds it. All right, so there you go, right? That's your little deal. <laughs> 